In this video, I am going to take you through the income statement or the profit and loss statement of Reliance Industries Limited. So, same annual report. Now, we are going to page number 269 where the statement of profit and loss is given. And again, don't be surprised to uh, you know, notice uh, the same thing. This is a real company again, Reliance Industries Limited financial statements for 2018-19 what you have here is income and you have expenses and what did we learn we said there is going to be income and there's going to be expenses and there's going to be profit so where is the profit you have profit for the year at the bottom all right so this was the also the background uh, equation for the accounting uh, equation you have asset equal liabilities, but in liabilities, income and expenses play a part. And uh, let's go through the contents of income statement to see what are the various items and how are these shown. So you have value of sales first up. Then you have income from services. So sale is for goods and uh, other uh, section is services. Uh, you have uh, value of uh, sales and services in total. Then you have GST recovered. So as it uh, you know happens in India, if you are selling anything, you have to you know pay GST on it. So from company side, the company says the price of uh, the price of a good is let's say hundred, and you have to pay a GST at the top of it. So let's say eighteen percent GST. So, and 118 rupees is the uh, price, uh, the market market price of the uh, of any item. Now, when a consumer comes and pays 118 rupees to the company, the company's revenue is 100 only. The remaining 18, this goes to the government. So, this is government, and 100 is the revenue of the company. So, this is a new thing that I wanted to introduce. Uh, so that is what is exactly shown in the um, uh, income statement here. You have total value of the sales and services. This is what is total revenue. However, 16082 crores, this is not the revenue of the company. So they have deducted this to come at the actual revenue of the company. Now, why do they show it here? Because it is required uh, by the law that they disclose the amount of GST that they have recovered. Okay, other than this, uh, so this gives you total revenue from operations and we know what this is. This is the primary income of the business. This is the operating income of the business. And then you have other incomes. Other incomes, again, we'll go to the details to see what are these incomes, but you know these are clearly the uh, secondary incomes for Reliance Industries Limited. You sum those two up and you have the total income for 2018 and 19. So as we discussed, income has, you know, there are two types of incomes. You have operating and non-operating and that's exactly how Reliance Industries or any other company would show their incomes in their financial statements. In the second section of the statement, you have expenses. Under the expenses, you have cost of materials, uh, purchase of stock. Uh, then there is an item on changes in inventory. You know this is an uh, uh, advanced discussion. Uh, the value of stock changes from time to time, and you have to make some adjustments to it. So you know, don't bother about it in this course. We will not need to know the details of that. Uh, but just understand that because the stock's value changes. You know, you either if the value goes up, you're making some gain, and if the value goes down. Uh, then you're making some loss based upon market value. You purchase stock at some point in time, it is unsold, in future prices change, you know, there's some adjustment. So don't bother too much about that at this point in time. Then you have, you know, excise duties, service tax, all the taxes that you have to pay. Employee benefit expenses are, you know, salaries, provident fund, other things. Uh, then you have finance costs. Uh, we know what the finance cost is. This is the non-operating expense for the business. You have depreciation and amortization. And uh, in, in previous video, I've uh, also explained the concept of depreciation to you. So that is also shown here as an expense. 
Now, is depreciation an expense or not is, you know, a question uh, which can be debated, but I'll clarify it as we move forward in the course. There is, you know, plenty of use for this concept of depreciation in this course. So, it will become clear to you gradually, but, uh, you know, in brief, it is part of the asset which is used in the business in a given year. Uh, and, you know, you're using the resource to generate revenue, you uh, should call it an expense. So, it is shown here. Uh, then all the rest of expenses, you have the profit on which tax is charged, you pay your taxes and you have profit for the year. So there you go. It is, you know, that simple. Now you can read the profit and loss statement of a company to, you know, you can make sense of how this is structured and the specific terms used in the statement have a specific meaning and you know this language uh, now. Now let's uh, deep dive into uh, these items. Let's go to note number 24 to see uh, where the revenue from operations is coming. So revenue from operation uh, is coming from refining, petrochemicals, oil and gas and you know others. Uh, so and there is income from services as well. Reliance is a diversified company. Uh, you know majority of income comes from the uh, refining operations of the crude oil uh, <clears throat> then there is petrochemicals, the lands also exports, they are actually uh, among the top exporters of some of the uh, petrochemicals. Uh, so, you know, for any company, you can look through the notes and uh, you can understand what is the breakdown, what are the sources of the uh, revenue from operations, what all do uh, does this company sell. Uh, so, uh, that is revenue from operations. Let's go to the next item, which is other income. Let's look at what are the non-operating incomes. Here, finance, financial uh, income, income on the financial investments. You put the bank uh, money in the bank. Uh, you have some debt instruments. You you know gave. Uh, you had invested in debt instruments, which are you know debentures or bonds in other companies. Uh, other financial assets, dividend income. Uh, dividend income is you know when you invest money in other companies. Uh, so when you invest, when you uh, put money in the bank, bank gives you interest. When you put money in other companies, the interest that they give you is called dividend. So that's what dividend is. Uh, other non-operating income. So they also call it non-operating income. And there are some you know gains, some advance items. We don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, but again, you know, finance cost is uh, finance uh, income, financial income or income from financial assets is what is counted under the uh, non-operating incomes. Uh, let's look at employee benefit costs. So you got salaries and wages, you got provident fund, staff welfare expenses. Again, you can read through the report to understand more, you know, what are staff welfare expenses, what did they do during the year, especially for their staff and so on. So more could be found out, but we are right now dealing with reading these financial statements understanding what are the contents and I'm only looking at you know selected uh, uh, items from this uh, otherwise you know it will be too long a discussion feel free to go through the rest of the financial statement as well uh, to know more finance cost let's let us look at where all the company is you know spending this money interest expenses now there was a star I don't have it here but they would have given more details so Reliance is paying 8,000 crores, the amount is in crores, 8,000 crore in uh, interest on various loans that they would have taken. And uh, we saw in the you know, previous video where we looked at the liabilities, uh, you know, what various loans are. Then you have uh, uh, applicable losses and for, again, this is, you know, something very advanced. We don't have to worry about it uh, at this point in time. Right now, we should focus on building the basic understanding uh, of terms and how things work in accounting and then these are matters of advanced exploration. Other expenses, what are other expenses? Again, a range of expenses which were not covered in any of the earlier categories have been shown here. Uh, you have manufacturing expenses, selling distribution expenses, uh, you have establishment, you know, administrative uh, expenses, rent, insurance and whatnot. And many of these items you've already seen in the previous videos where we have discussed types of uh, expenses. Uh, all right. So uh, 
yeah that's it that's what i uh, wanted to uh, talk about uh, the income statement uh, of reliance industries limited you are very familiar with the contents they are in so feel free to go to any other company look at infosys tcs or any other companies financial statements and uh, try to see where do they get their revenue do they have loans uh, what are the assets that they have uh, and so on so uh, reading the financial statements a cursory look surface level understanding of the two financial statements balance sheet and profit and loss check you're done with it